Here we go, heading off down the Rocky Broad, great run, putting in in the town of Bat Cave, which is the first of three towns that we'll paddle through uh, on this kind of urban but exceedingly beautiful run through the gorge. Lots of great boogie water to warm up, a few hundred yards, and that's the great thing about the Rocky Broad at almost 200 feet per mile. Even the in-between stuff has great little booths, great little slots, fun holes to punch, all kinds of action start to finish, not much flat water. Right here after the warm up, we're getting down into the first rapid and we'll hit the first booth here on the right where you slide up on the rock and get a little action here just to get warmed up. Just below the first booth, we're going to get down to a rapid that I call first slide. You start in the center, heading left, follow the water down and punch through the hole. You can run the meet at some levels, but uh, the clean level at all levels is that punch on the left. Here we go into a rapid above the first bridge, catching a sneaky little hidden booth right here. And then we'll head down to the bridge. Just below the bridge begins a rapid that we used to call rooster tail slide. The rooster tail washed away years ago, but there used to be this giant explosion on the slide. A lot like the thing on Oceana on Tallulah. Uh, but it's washed away and opened up a new line. We used to run down the right, now we run down the left, which is more fun. Here's the first hole coming into the entrance. And we're gonna bang through a few of these holes in the entrance and then ride a really fun ride down the left side. Curlers left to right. A little bit of an undercut on the left, so make sure you don't get too far left coming into it. But all in all, just a really clean rapid. There on the right, you can see where the explosion used to be. Eddie out below Rooster Tail Slide. There's one more little ledge up as far as you can see where that rock shelf sticks out from the left with the sun on it. Uh, just below that is the first consequential rapid called Banana Hammock. It's got some sieves and places to avoid. We're going to enter Banana Hammock from the right, headed hard left, and tuck in behind a log to get left. You want to really make sure you tuck in behind this log so that you can get into the left channel because all that right stuff is sieves. Once you get left, it's just fun slides and boots down the left side. Great way to get going here. Below that, a little bit of wood accumulates at the bottom of Banana Hammock. And uh, you can take a break, make your way around it, and get ready for the entrance here as we're coming into uh, Pocket Hole. We're going to run the right at this water level, which has this cool little booth on it. Uh, at lower water, you run to the left of those rocks there to my left. But when it's up, the right side's the better way to go. If you do run to the left, come back over to the right to enter into the rapid at Pocket Hole. We're going to enter Pocket Hole down the right and then make an aggressive move to the left to miss the Pocket Hole. You'll see that move right about here. We're going to bust left. That curler on the right leads into the Pocket Hole. So you want to get left of it, slide over the rock, and it'll lift you up and boot you over the Pocket Hole. Below that, couple of more slots to run and then we're going to do some entrance rapids as we lead into what I call the boulder out. It's got some huge boulders on the right down there, the limit of what you can see. We run along those and finish with a great two to three foot boot. That's what the Rocky Broad's really all about is a ton of phenomenal two to three foot boots, technical whitewater action all the way start to finish. Here we come through the boulder alley making our move again. turn around and you can see Andrea come through. Just below that, there's a clean ledge about three or four feet. You want to boof it too far right and you'll peek on too far left and you'll hit that rock you see right there. So make sure you get left but not too far. Below that, a little bit of run out and we're going to make it down to a rapid right by the road kind of a spectacle so that's what I'm calling a spectacle a lot of people stop on the road to get a lot of tourists watching you start with this booth fade into it and then just follow the water down it's a nice ride back over to the right and curving a little bit left and punching through that bottom lane below there there's a bunch of bony stuff as you make your way down river left back over to river right and get ready for redneck entrance. at this level we're running redneck entrance a little bit right there's a left channel that you run in lower water. But as you make this entrance, you really want to head for this eddy on the left. That's the most important must-make eddy on the run, 
It's getting that eddy on the left above Redneck Rock. There's some city stuff that you miss it. So you got to catch that eddy. Then we're going to spin around and square up the Redneck. You can scout it on the left. But what you'll see is that you want to come in and let this water carry you as you peel out. Let the water take you as far left as you can get. So you can really enter the rapid with left to right momentum for the first boot. So here we go, booping left to right. And then we're going to turn, square up a little bit, punch the next hole, and let the water carry us over to the right. You don't want to charge too hard right and go over that boil because it gets chunky. But you also don't want to get pushed left. Then there's a little slot here at the end that can be a little bit tricky. Trick me this day. Once you're done with Redneck, make your way down the right side. Most people get out and portage the biggest, gnarliest rapid. Coming up next is Walker Falls. This is the hardest one. It's been the site of the only fatality on the Rocky Broad. It's got two civvy slots on the right that you want to avoid. So I enter over here on the right, kind of boofing off this rock and boofing hard right so that I can make my turn when I land. Here's the boot to the right. Then there's that little finger in the middle. You want to fall off the right side of that finger right there that sticks out. Then you want to land with some left angle and get left away from those sieves and through the slot next to the boil and turn your bow back to the right the last second and land it. Super fun. Don't usually run it, but it's great at this level.